All right, it's currently 20 degrees and this is a day in the life. Like every other vlog is another day in the life. And I forgot to turn my car on. Shoot, it's gonna be super cold. Yeah. Oh, it is kind of slippery out. Gotta get ready for a podcast interview, hopefully. And I say hopefully because when you schedule something, you know, really far in advance and then you email a few days in advance to confirm it and then they don't confirm it, I can never really be sure if they're actually gonna show up or not. Welcome back to today's vlog. I was gonna say podcast. Uh, no, the vlog today, guys. So today I wanted to talk about podcasting. So I did have a podcast scheduled today. I mean, this was booked a few, couple months in advance, actually. But then I always send out an email just to confirm the appointment before it happens. The person just didn't uh, didn't arrive to the show to the meeting for the interview. An internet-based interview. You know, these things happen sometimes. But I mean, honestly, if you reach out to someone because you want to be on their podcast, the communication like that. That needs to happen. Note to anyone who's watching, if you ever do want to be on someone's podcast, just be punctual. And if you can't make it, just own up to the fact that you can't make it, tell them. Anyways, even if I didn't have the actual interview today, I did po publish an interview that I had in the past with a guy by the name of Dale Gibbons. He lives by this code where it's like, you know, the whole Tony Robbins thing, the secret to living is giving. And we spoke about that in today's episode. And I think that's a really interesting concept because I love talking to people and connecting uh, and figuring out like what makes them tick, like why, what is it that drives them to want to give back? Especially if you grow up from a family where you don't have very much. Um, you know, you might think that the idea of being a person who wants to constantly give is, isn't really something that they might gravitate towards, or they would only gravitate towards that after they've gotten enough for themselves. But Dale is a guy who grew up with probably less means than some of us may have, but ended up developing and cultivating a heart to give back, uh, even before he really had everything himself. So I think that's kind of a, a good heart and a good mindset that I like to keep, is that we have all these goals and aspirations, and we think that, you know, once I achieve this thing, then I will be okay, or I will feel... I've been dabbling with this concept where it's, you have to first start out with, I feel why, or I will embody why, and then I will get X. Like, it's like a very proactive response to life, I think, rather than reactive. Like you are going to be creating your reality, and creating what you want to happen. Just in all the people that I've interviewed, it's always been the other way around. Like they start out how they envision themselves, like how they want to be, and then they walk, just begin taking whatever steps that they can, no matter how small they are, to get to that goal. And that was my biggest takeaway from this episode. Embodying what you you envision is more, it applies to a lot more than just business. What are the qualities and characteristics that you, th that you think that you'll have once you have that goal? What kind of person do I want to be? How do I want to relate to other people? How do I want to envision and plan out my own life? I want to live in a way that is not dictated by external circumstances. Don't say, I will give back more once I have this finance. Like if I don't have money to financial things to give, then you know I'll try and give my time or try and give my expertise or what I, things that I've learned from experience or from others. Finding ways to give back with what you've got because we all have something to offer to the world or to ourselves or people around us. It's just a matter of really thinking and finding out what those qualities and what those gifts are and then getting very specific and um, pointed at what you're good at and then using that to create the life that you want to have. And that's kind of like a long drawn out version or way of talking about the podcast episode that went up today. That's why I am so passionate about talking to these people and like picking their minds apart and giving them to or giving those droplets of wisdom from them to anyone who's willing to listen to the podcast. That's what my rant is for today. Other than that, uh, went over to Whole Foods to do some work. Funny thing about Whole Foods, uh, I used to go there with my younger brother actually. That's where we did all of our planning for our ginger beer company. The reason that I go there was actually because that's where they had seating, there was a coffee truck inside the store and there was EV parking and charging so I could charge my car when I got there and then you know get food and stuff and do my work and then leave yeah so did some of that took a really a really quick time lapse I thought it was gonna be longer but at the Osmo I haven't quite figured out how to use all the settings in the DJI Osmo app yet so it ended up being like a three second time lapse but anyways thank you very much for tuning in for the day and I will see you in the next video